This is based on the gambling odds on Russ's next four teams. Yes. The, the likelihood. So I just put up where should he play next year? Patriots, Steelers, Falcons, Raiders. Steelers are the favorite. Uh, and it's pretty split, actually. Raiders, 30%. Uh, Steelers, 27%. Patriots, 26%. Falcons, 18%. I just don't. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't see Pittsburgh doing it. I don't see him doing it. But for a million bucks, what does it hurt to have? It's the, not the money. To have a three-way it's competition. It's not the money. It's not the money. Mason Rudolph is a free agent. He had to. He would have to come back. But. Right. Right. It's not the money. It's just the principle of where. And it's not just that. Like, what? What if Russ signs, right? Uh-huh. Gets beat out by uh, by Kenny Pickett. Then his career is over. Right. So why would he want to sign in a spot where it's a running of a risk of being over? If you don't think you can beat out Kenny Pickett, it's you not that your you career's don't over think, anyway. You don't think, you don't need, why would you want to sign somewhere where we're going to put you in a competition? Unless that's the only you option. You sign there because good, Unless good that's defense, the only good coach, option. good weapons. Unless that's the only option. He wants to go somewhere like Baker where it was a competition with Kyle Trask. And then Baker gets his spot. And there's Evans, and then there's Godwin, and then there's Rashad White, and then there's that defense, and there's that coach. Isn't that what Pittsburgh is? Right, but <laughs> there's no Kyle Trask. That's Kenny Pickett, a first-round pick from a couple years ago that they're going to put their thumb on the scale. They want him to succeed. But Kyle Trask is better than Kenny Pickett, right? I don't, I don't know where you get that one from. We haven't seen Kyle Trask play in like three years. But I've seen Kenny play. Back on the Rich Eisen show here. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're just having a conversation. Our radio audience just returned. We're having a conversation about where Russ is going to wind up. And our poll question right now, has the Steelers winning it right now? Or the Raiders are winning it right uh, now. Raiders are now, winning it. Now, that one makes sense to me. That one makes sense to me. Where he's going to be placed in a competition, where, I guess, with Aiden O'Connell. O'Connell yeah. But why would he sign somewhere? And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey, Michael Penix, the job's yours. Right? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 he wants to go to a spot where it's like, the, that's your gig. You have the gig. It's your gig. So is he going to wait till after the draft? I don't, I have no idea how this is going to play out. I have no idea. I mean, the four teams that are on our list, right? For our, our poll yeah, question. Yeah, this is based Give on the, me again. What this is, is it again? based on the gambling Pittsburgh, odds. New England. It's, yeah, Atlanta and the, and the Raiders. Okay. So Atlanta's going to first play, the first thing they're playing is, is Kirk Cousins. Seems like it. Okay, that's the, the well, that's Florida the way they're going to play that one Kirk's out. Kirk's moving to Atlanta. So. Oh, I saw that. So so they're playing to see they're playing that one out. Yeah. So that's going to take a few days. Pittsburgh, I, I'm telling everybody what I heard again at the combine and what everybody's talking about is they love Pickett. They want to see what he can do with a full season where he's healthy and he has an offensive coordinator like Arthur Smith. They might add a couple pieces and give and go to work. And bringing Mason Rudolph to have maybe a healthy competition amongst guys that everybody knows and knows the system and knows the city and knows the building and knows everything else. I don't see them just saying, even though Russell Wilson is dirt cheap, to say, come on in, Russ, and we'll throw it. Now it's a three man competition. And wh- why would Russ want to go to some place where it's a three man competition? The Raiders are okay, he's in the division. He can go to Denver twice and beat him. That's not a bad choice right there at all. Certainly, if they take somebody like, say, J.J. McCarthy or Penix and say, well, let's let's give you the the year off plan. Russ has an opportunity to throw to Devontae Adams. Okay, I, I'd, I'd be up for that. You know, going to a spot where Antonio Pierce has got the building where exactly the way he wants him. Josh Jacobs coming back? I don't know about that. The running back market, we'll talk about that. There's yeah. a whole... I mean, if There's Saquon's not getting tagged, then I don't think Jacobs is getting tagged. There's a lot. This is going to be a wild next couple weeks about yeah, that. Yeah. So, I don't know. The, the Raiders are, are something I'd be interested in if I'm um, Russ, just off the bat, about everything that's gone on there and what I can do for them there. Bruce Feldman coming up in studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, the coach is not going anywhere, right? He's already proved himself, unlike his first coach in Denver. And then Sean Payton, man, I'll tell you what. I mean, Sean Payton has the full faith and credit of ownership to come in and say, let's take an $85 million cap head and over the next two years, and let's 
Let's basically try and build this team with $85 million tied behind our back over Ooh. two years. Oof, man, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then the general manager who makes this deal to get Russ and then sign him, he, he's got to be, you know, thankful, thanking his lucky stars. Normally, one of those things, the trade doesn't work out, or signing somebody to a large contract that you have to eat a large amount. One of those two things will get you. Together, yeah. he's still there. Like a negative times a negative. He's good. A I guess he was positive, right? <laughs> the old math equation. Yeah, yeah. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 